Okay. Now, ancient poetry. Ancient poetry uh, from the 90s. Um, when Blair came to power, within about six months, it became apparent that everything that he um, said he was going to do and every all that hope we had when we finally got rid of the Tories was evaporating into nothing. Um, and the left was thinking, what are we going to do next? I came up with a new philosophy. For I was listening to the, the Alarm's Greatest Hits one day, and I came up with a new philosophy for the 21st century, uh, which combines um, the caring, loving, a pacifistic approach of Zen Buddhism, the political clarity of Stalinism, and the lyrics of the Alarm. My new philosophy is called Zen Stalinism, and this is the Zen Stalinist Manifesto. Playing golf, or being otherwise dull with malice of forethought, watching TV for more than 10 hours a week, discussing soap operas or any TV programs or adverts in the case of a stand-up comedian on stage, becoming obsessed with the work of Quentin Tarantino, Damien Hirst or William Burroughs, will become a criminal offence punishable by five years in forced participation in a non-stop mime, juggling and face-painting workshop in Slough. <laughs> the Berlin Wall will be rebuilt only five metres higher. It will keep people out. People like the World Bank, the International Monetary Fund, Lady Gaga, Price Waterhouse, Goldman Sachs, Jeffrey Archer, Vladimir Putin, Peter Manderson, Boris Johnson and Coldplay. Yes! Gary <laughs> Bushell and Richard Littlejohn will suffer immediate retrospective abortion. <laughs> In order to combat the increasing danger to civilised society posed by pig ignorant, misogynistic, right-wing, testosterone-poisoned road rage specialists, Theme gulags will be introduced for anyone who drives a van with scratches down the side and shouts up will otherwise intimidate lone women drivers at roundabouts or buy shares in industries which belong to him in the first place. <laughs> These gulags will all be situated on Rock Hall and will have three themes. Saturday night in August at the Costa del Sol, auction day at the used car emporium on Shoreham Seafront and a happy hour in a Harlow theme park. All themes run 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, and inmates will be able to nominate their chosen theme on arrival. No theme changes will be allowed, but Clash albums, chess sets, and copies of The Ragged Trails of Philanthropists will be available, available for rehabilitation purposes. Tight security will be enforced. Theme gulags will be surrounded by large deep moats filled with soy milk and real ale, guarded by pit bullfrogs and kept under constant surveillance by hundreds of high court judges watching from carefully constructed ivory towers. Tony Blair will finally be recognised as the traitorous war criminal he is and made to spend the rest of his days cleaning up the toilets at the Glastonbury Festival. <laughs> With his tongue! <laughs> Every Western government leader and the entire staff of the United Nations will be forced to walk naked through the burnt out towns of mass graves in what used to be the Socialist Federation of Yugoslavia and then have the words, Marshal Tito was right, tattooed on their foreheads. A Zen Stalinist national curriculum will be introduced into schools. Albanian, both dialects, Geg and Tosk, will become compulsory as a foreign language. Reading Geoffrey Archer and supporting Crystal Palace will become not just highly illegal, but indicative of a disturbed mental state requiring instant frontal lobotomy. The alarm will reform. All school students will sing the new national anthem, 68 Guns, by the alarm. Mike Peters of the alarm will become the new Welsh football manager with David Icke as his assistant. The royal family will be allowed to remain as figureheads who will have to join the alarm. Billy Bragg will become next in line to the throne and the rhythm guitarist in the alarm. All game show hosts, all TV cooks, and everyone who works for The Sun and the Times Literary Supplement will be shot. <laughs> Their executions will be videoed, an acid house soundtrack will be added, and huge week-long parties known as Graves will begin. <laughs> Ken Livingston and his pet newt, Dennis, will become Prime Minister and Chancellor of the Exchequer. All privatised industries will be renationalised without compensation and a huge TV and poster campaign will be launched saying simply, tell Sid, tough shit. <laughs> the Queen will be privatised, promoted to lead singer of the alarm. <laughs> the first Zen Stalinist five-year plan will be published, declaring world peace and social surrealism and the dark nightmare of monetarist madness will finally come to an end forever. Thank you. <laughs>